Ladies and gentlemen, C3.ai stock just went up another 6% on the day, beating the general market and being one of the top leaders in the AI stocks that we've been looking at. Now, we talked about this yesterday with C3.ai sitting at around that 33, testing support. A lot of people were bearish and my, myself included, I didn't know if it was going to hold that support, especially as we've seen a little bit of a decline from its all-time highs, but we've seen an influx coming back into C3.ai. Now, if you're new to the channel, of course, this is Data Dispatch, where we keep you updated on everything regarding artificial intelligence, including the AI stocks that everybody is looking at. Talking about C3.AI, we're going to be talking about what this did today, what this possibly means for the future for this trending AI stock, and how it does compare it to the others and what to expect. So, of course, I'm not a financial advisor. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt and do your own research before making an investment decision. But talking about C3.AI, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a trending, more speculative type stock, kind of relating and getting into the AI game, having many different applications in softwares, and also providing tools for different people and different companies, basically clients to roll out their own AI products. Now, looking at that, talking about C3.ai, like I said, it is smaller, more volatile, but you do have more volatility with some of these smaller stocks. As you can see here at the close, $35.46, up 6.26% on the day. Now looking at a market cap, we were just at about that 3.3 billion, now at 4.1 billion. So increasing here, getting more valuation as people are taking more of a bet on the future for AI stocks. We're gonna be talking about this in some of the others. But C3.ai was really testing support here, basically, like, basically at that 32, 33. The question was, what's it gonna be able to hold that support or was it going to fall? Because it's year 52 week high is basically sitting at about that $48. So we're seeing a little bit of influx here, more confidence and a lot of buying pressure coming in right when the market did open today. And now kind of testing some support right here in consolidating, you see a kind of a similar triangle coming for me here towards about that $35. Speaking of that and talking where we are, C3.ai, like I said, we have to be careful with it because it is one of the most trending stocks right now as we speak speak and they've made lots of business alterations to their actual fundamentals of their companies and really utilizing AI enterprises as their bread and butter. So C3.ai really focusing on artificial intelligence for their bread and butter bread and butter, and basically the powerhouse of their company means that they're playing on the whole AI industry and outperforming big AI stocks like Google and Microsoft is interesting to see here as you have confidence coming into a smaller stock like this and with them focusing on these application developments and this runtime environment, working to provide enterprises with these tools as AI continues to develop, you can have more clients that are wanting to utilize C3 for their AI development solutions. Now, with that being said, one important thing to note is the valuation of C3.ai is still pretty high. What I mean by valuation, if you're new to the market, is price to earnings ratio. This means that many investors are putting confidence into the future of AI type stocks, specifically looking at C3.ai right here, and they are taking a bet. They are betting that this will have more long-term performance because just back here in May, we got to think about three, you know, two, three months ago, it was at about $17.40. So really increasing right here. Will we see a little bit of a pullback or is the 33 going to hold for support continuing down the line? But looking at its ratings and its it's also its financials, we've seen C3.ai, they have actually beat predictions. We've seen this with earnings in the last earnings and in the revenue. We've seen them beat their actual last earnings per share predictions. And right now, it's predicted to continue to beat those metrics. But with C3.ai competing with some of the other main stocks like Symbiotic, SYM, MicroStrategy, these companies all trying to get into the AI game, you're going to have competition. So the question is, how does C3.ai, while it's performing well, how is it going to continue to compete and not lose market share to some of these other larger AI stocks and also have a hedge against some of the top blue chip AI stock companies that are getting heavily involved, talking about Microsoft, 
Google, Tesla, Nvidia, AMD, the list can go on and on. That's a big question. I want you guys to know, are you guys gonna be keeping your eyes on C3.ai? I think with the performance that we did have today, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes on it and reporting and keeping you guys up to date on everything that's happening within this stock news. And also subscribe to hear about additional AI stocks. Take care, peace out, and I'll catch you guys later.